good, YouTube? You know who it is. Sandra. And Chris Jones. <laughs> Representing Pump Chasers, as you see, guys, if you're watching this video, straight out of the gym, shirts are back in stock. Go get your 30 of them bitches at BeastModeJonesCoaching.com. We got the Train with Rage on deck, man. Hoodie, nice and thick. Oh, you, gotta, you read that in the back, man. Y'all already know what that says in the back, man. Long story short, you fuck shit up. That's what the fuck it says. We're about to go fuck some shit up. Basically, that's what it says. We got legs right now. Legs! Yes! About to go hit these thighs for the guys. Hams for the mams. And glutes for the dudes. <laughs> Quads for the broads. I got my protein shake already right here. On Hugging! <laughs> Hugging! Oh my gosh. Hugging the sleeves, man. Great day today, guys. It's been a great day today. Got a lot of work done. And uh, I'm about to have a great time. I love leg days, guys. Anyway, about to go ahead and drink this shake. We're about to take it right out to the gym. And y'all stay tuned. All right, hey, 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 hey there you go. Hey, hey, hey. hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Come on in, come on in. Let's All go. All right. Y'all already know, ain't shit changed, baby. Stand up for squares, man. VIP. <laughs> All right, homies and home mates. First and foremost, if you want to see the full routine, you want to know what we did, rep for rep, set for set, I have it typed at the very bottom of the description. Go ahead and give it a shot. If you feel like you're a beast, go ahead and put it to the test, man. Some high volume work for you right here. Give it a shot. Let me know how much you like it. Let me know how much you didn't like it. Really love getting feedback from my people, from my family. Let me know what you want to see. And it keeps me motivated, you know. If it wasn't shit, you felt like it was easy, let me know. If you felt like it was hard, let me know. Really curious. I want to see your feedback, okay? So, as you may or may not know, I do a four-day on, one-day split. And it has two different phases. You know, my first four days, my leg routine is typically built around, you know, hamstring development. My hamstring been a weak point. Well, it's not really a weak point now that I've been hitting it hard, but it was a weak point. My quads were really overpowering my hams, and I'm noticing great development from uh, making sure that I train hamstrings first, or at least give it more volume, all right? Then my phase B, which is my next four days, is typically quads based. I focus primarily on quad development. So I go between those two. It really helps me make my weak points a priority. Same with my delts, man. You know, I have phase my first four days. My chest and delt day is primarily focused around delts. And then, you know, the next four days, primarily focused on chest and delts equally because my chest is not really that weak. My delts need the most attention, all right? So definitely, guys, take your weak points into consideration when doing your programming, when doing your training. If you're intermediate to advanced, obviously, if you're a beginner, you need a well-rounded routine. You're not going to know your weak points until maybe your third year of lifting, all right? So anyway, we'll talk about that shit later. So, where are we at? So as you see, we started off with some hip abductor work and some adductor work to really hit those glutes and the hips get nice and warm. That's a warm up for me, guys. We warm up with that shit. Then, we did some close stance leg curls and then we did a superset of some uh, leg extensions and some wide stance leg curls. And as you see here, we're on the seated hamstring curl, making sweet love. I make sure I completely stop motion at the top before I curl back down. Like I told you guys, this is a shitload of hamstring volume, but this is a primarily hamstring based workout. For years, I always thought hamstrings was just a supporting muscle, meaning, I'll do squats, I'll do lunges, I'll do leg press, and at the end of my workout, I'll just throw in a few sets of hamstring curls, a few sets of calf raises, and I would go the fuck home. After about four to five years, my quads were nice and thick, but my hamstrings and calves looked like shit. So you are gonna look like how you train. I was gonna do front squats, but after that hamstring work, we pushed hamstrings to the limit today. Very exhausted, I'm just gonna do hack squats. 
notice on my four days on one day off program I give you the option of front squats or hack squats so use common sense use your judgment if you're tired one day don't do front squats if you're tired it takes a lot of core strength just do the hack squats instead I'm utilizing constant tension be sure to watch my constant tension video if you haven't seen it already I'm gonna put the video at the very bottom of the description along with this workout click on that video learn about constant tension that will save your joints okay let's fuck shit up but not fuck our joints up. <laughs> Muscles do not react from hope. They do not react from prayer. They react from fucking work. Put that tension on the muscle with some weight that you can actually control. Make them hurt. Make them pump. Make them burn. Over the years, you need to add more weight. If you're hitting one plate for reps, shit. After that shit becomes easy, add a 10. After that becomes easy, add a quarter. Next thing you know, you're hitting two plates. Four years later, you're hitting three plates. That's where the growth comes from. It comes from the journey. It comes from being in the gym for time, being in the gym for years. That's where you built that quality physique, guys. Don't come into the gym trying to make something happen in a month. You gotta fucking grind. That's why I post these videos every week, okay? I post them to keep you motivated. Because honestly, everything I show you in these videos, you can probably Google the shit for yourself. People like myself are visual. We got to see people doing this week after week. It keeps you motivated. I do this for y'all guys. Appreciate all the support. Home mitts. We're about to go ahead and wrap the workout up with a nice burnout. Now typically I do 150 reps with my body weight, but it's been getting so easy. My legs are so conditioned now. We're going to use light weight. Sandra got 25 pounds. I'm going to put 50 pounds on my back. And we're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, until we get 150 reps done. Obviously, we're not going to get 150 reps at once. It's probably going to take about three or four breaks to get it done. But we're going to do 150 reps, however long it takes. Try it at home. Give it a challenge. See if you got what it takes. And that's it, homies and homies. Like I said guys, you have to train how you want to look. You want some great legs, but well, damn it, you better be ready to train. You better be ready to go to the gym when you don't feel like going some days. You better be ready to push it to the limit. Might even gotta find you a partner to keep you motivated, to keep you uh, accountable. You know what I'm saying? I do this and I appreciate you guys for watching me. Let me know if you give the routine a try. Comment below. Hey guys, this shit is not as easy as it looks. Trust me, man. I don't do pussy hippie workouts. Comment below and thanks again. <laughs>
Holla back at your boy.